Good evening, good Yantuf Chag Sameach. Welcome to this pre-recorded virtual Seder. We are recording this at our house. We wish we could have invited all of you to join us here. Unfortunately, this year we can't do that. However, we're going to ask you to use a lot of imagination. Imagine this is a huge table and all of you are sitting around it. That in fact, in your minds, you are with us. Let me point out a couple of things that are here on the table in front of us. We are using this Seder plate, which belongs to our family. It is a facsimile edition of one that was made in Vienna around the year 1900. I have another Seder plate here. It is empty. And the purpose of having that is to make the point, if you have a Seder plate, but you don't know what to put on it or don't have anything on it, the Seder plate in and of itself, whatever we use, whatever we don't use, is of great significance. This year, we can only do what we can do. It doesn't have to be complete. Let's make the best of what we have. So we're going to begin this Seder with the Festival Candle Blessing. Baruch Atad and I, Elohim and Melech HaLam, Asher Kitshan of Amitzvotav, Bitsi Vanu, Lahad Lekner, Shel, Yom Tov. Amen. Since we are abbreviating considerably and adding new portions, and there wasn't an opportunity to print up a new Haggadah, just listen, don't try to follow along, it'll be too difficult. Next, the Festival Kiddush. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Merech HaOlam Borei Pri Hagafen. Baruch Atadonai Eloheinu Merech HaOlam Asher bachar banu mikol am, v'romamanu mikol ashon, v'kitshanu b'mitzvotav, v'titen lanu Adonai Eloheinu b'ahava, moadim l'simcha, hagim uzmanim l'sasom, et yom chag ha-matzot hazeh, zman cheutenu mikra kodesh zecha l'tziat mitzrayim, hivanu v'charta v'otanu kitash l'mikol ha-amim, Umo ade kotshecha, the simcha, usason, hin chaltanu, baruch ata adonai, mekadesh Yisrael, the chazmani. Baruch ata adonai, Eloheinu merech haolam, shechianu, vekiamanu, vehiyanu, lazman hazeh. Take a sip of the first cup of wine. Now, for those of you who have parsley with you, and for those of you who don't, just imagine, we take a little piece of parsley, we dip it in the salt water, and if you don't have salt water, pretend that you do, and we say, Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Merech HaOlam, Borei Pri HaAdama, praising God who brings forth the fruit of the earth, and we eat a piece of the parsley. We have here a nice matzah cover. I am taking the middle matzah out. I am going to break it in half. I am supposed to hide it and set it aside for the afikomen. It will be hard for us to search for the afikomen this year. So we'll put that on back burner and save it for a special afikomen search once we are all able to gather together in our building again. That is one thing we're going to announce this evening that we will have to look forward to. The next part of the Seder is the section that so many of you are familiar with, Halach Ma'anya, those who are hungry, let them come and eat. Well, we can't do that this year. I am going to share with you a section. I'm going to read the English translation of something that I discovered that I shared with the members of my class 
yesterday morning. This is the bread of affliction that we are eating in solitude. All who are hungry, may they approach, but not enter. Those who are needy, may they come and call out for help. This year we are here. Next year, among the larger community of Israel. This year, we are in isolation. Next year, may we have a great public gathering. It is customary at this time to have the Manishtana, often known as the four questions. I say it that way because I wonder if they're really questions at different times in different places where they're really four or three. So we are going to hear the singing of the four questions, and we thank in advance Kai for all her musical assistance this evening. Now, all of us, let us pretend we are back in Hebrew school, except our teacher is not with us to correct us. And you say, I won't be able to hear, so there's no reason to be self-conscious. Let us all say the Manishtana together. Manishtana halayla hazeh mikol halelot. Shebechol halelot anu ochlin chametz umatza halayla hazeh kulo matza. Shebechol halelot anu ochlin sha'ar yerakot halayla hazeh maror. Shebechol halelot Ein anu matbilin afilu pamecha, halala haze shtei fe'amim. Shebechol halalot anu ochlin bein yoshvin u bein misubin, halala haze kulanu misubin. And beginning the answer, we were slaves to Pharaoh in Egypt. We continue with the singing of Avadim hayinu leparo b'mitzrayim. The four children, one intelligent, a second wicked, a third simple, and a fourth, a child that does not yet know how to ask. Different levels of understanding. And that is one of the more exciting things about the Haggadah, and in fact so much of our sacred writings can be understood by different people on many different levels. But one thing we cannot forget, 
as we gather here and celebrate the exodus from Egyptian slavery. It wasn't just Pharaoh alone who tried to persecute us. In every generation, it seems, tragically, someone rose up against us to persecute us. We now continue with Behisha Amda, for it was not one person alone who stood up against us to destroy us. In every generation, they stand up against us to destroy us. And the Holy One, blessed be He, saves us from their hand. This year, many of us may feel very, very awkward listing the 10 plagues since we are suffering from a plague. We remember them because they are part of our history. We don't wish them on anyone. I am going to read the list of the plagues in Hebrew and in English, and then we are going to move on to words of appreciation of how satisfied we would be no matter what had befallen us as long as it is good. The plagues, Dam, Svardea, Kinim, Arov, Geber, Shechin, Barad, Arbe, Choshech, Makat, Bechorot. Blood, frogs, lice, beasts, light, boils, hail, locusts, darkness, the slaying of the firstborn. But on the other hand, we praise God for all the wonderful things that God has bestowed upon us. And no matter how little, we still say it would have been enough. We would have been satisfied. Dayenu. And we continue with the singing of Dayenu. Shabbat Nayenu, Dai Dai Enu, 
Whatever we personally may think is the most important part of the Seder, one section says the following, Rabban Gamliel used to say, whoever does not make mention of the following three things on Passover has not fulfilled his obligation, namely the Passover sacrifice, the Pesach, and I'll talk about that in a second, the unleavened bread and the bitter herbs. If you don't talk about this, if you don't explain what it is, you haven't fulfilled your obligation because we must know what all these things are. The Pesach. We have on our Seder plate a roasted bone. It is not the real thing from a sacrifice. We're not supposed to eat it. It's just there to remind us. The Passover sacrifice, which our fathers used to eat at the time when the Holy Temple still stood. What was the reason for it? Because the Holy One, blessed be He, passed over the houses of our fathers in Egypt. The matzah. And matzahs were dealing with real matzahs, so we're allowed to pick them up and show everyone. And I'm doing the matzahs in this matzah cover. The matzahs which we eat, what is the reason? Because the dough of our fathers had not, let ye, let not yet leavened. When the king over all kings, the Holy One, blessed be he, revealed himself to them and redeemed them. Now the maror, the bitter herbs, different people use different kinds of bitter herbs. It is our custom to get a horseradish root, the big ugly horseradish root, and I have a cleaned up piece of it right here. And we read about it, the bitter herbs which we eat. What is the reason? Because the Egyptians made the lives of our forefathers bitter in Egypt. In every generation, each one of us should look upon ourselves as if we came forth out of Egypt. As it is said in Exodus 13, and you shall tell your children that day is because of what the Lord did for me when I came forth out of Egypt. It was not only our fathers and mothers, the Holy One, blessed be he redeemed, but us as well did he redeem along with them. It is important to remember that this is not just a seminar in ancient history, but we identify with what our ancestors did and what they suffered and how they were redeemed from slavery. We now continue with the singing of Betzek Yisrael Mimitzrayim, when the people of Israel left Egypt. Bezet Yisrael mi mitrayim, bet Yaakov me am loet. Bezet Yisrael mi mitrayim, bet Yaakov me am loet. Hata, hata Yehuda lekodesho. Israel man shelato Hayom, hayom, pro'avanot Hayyaden isor le'achot 
Bet Yisrael, mi Mitraim, Bet Yaakov, Me'am At this point, put some extra wine in your wine cups as we're going to have the second cup of wine. I'll give you a minute or two to do that. And we say the blessing, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pri praising God who brings forth the fruit of the vine and take a sip. We are about to begin the meal, and I will just talk about it traditionally, historically, before we ate, before we said the appropriate blessings, we would ritually wash our hands. How relevant that is, even though our ancestors washed their hands differently from the way we do today, that's another story. But hand washing is very, very much part of the Jewish tradition. I am now being handed what you could call a laver. And what you would do, would, you would pour water in this cup and then pour it over your hands. Not washing the hands the way we might under the sink with soap and water. You need to do that anyway. And ritually speaking today, People would wash their hands in the hygienic way with the soap and the water, but then the ritual hand washing as well. This is one of two labors that we have acquired in our family over the years. Now I am going to walk you through the blessings that we say just before we eat. And we start with something that sounds very familiar to you. I'll explain, and then we'll say it together. We say, Hamotzi Lecha Min Haaretz, who brings forth bread from the earth. But it's not real bread that we're used to at this time. It's unleavened bread, but we still say, Hamotzi Lecha Min Haaretz. Then immediately following, we would say the blessing who sanctified us by commandments, commanding us al achilat matzah concerning the eating of matzah. So let me say the blessing for those of you who know what to say, just follow along, if not, listen, and then afterwards we all take a piece of matzah, and I'm taking another piece out of this matzah box, thanks to the Manischewitz company, which is now owned by, I forget whom, but it's been no longer a family company, but then what is anymore? And I'm going to say, Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, HaMotzi Lecha Min HaAretz, Praised are you, King of the Universe, who brings forth bread from the earth. Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kitshanu V'mitzvotav, V'tzivanu Al Achilat Matzah, Praised are you, Eternal our God, Master of the Universe, who sanctified us with commandments and commanded us concerning the eating of unleavened bread. The Maror. You're supposed to dip the Maror into, the, into your haroset. And if you have all this with you, fine. And if you don't, Pretend, act as if you did, act as if that was your intention. For when Jews were in difficult circumstances and couldn't have everything they needed, they didn't give up and say, I can't do it. They went through the words, even though the objects weren't there. So I am going to take a piece of this horseradish root that's sliced up, and I am going to dip it into the haroset which is sitting right here. And I'm going to say the blessing, which ends, Al Achilat Maror, concerning the eating of Mar, praised are you, eternal, our God, master of the universe, who sanctifies us with commandments, commanding us to eat the bitter herb, Baruch Atah, Asher Kitshanu Bamitzvotav, 
Vetsivanu al Achilat Maror. And we wait to see how strong this stuff is. If my face goes scarlet, you'll understand. Now, it's strong, but I've had stronger. I can still breathe. I'll take a sip of water. <coughs> Good. It clears out the sinuses. And this year, it's very important to be able to breathe. And this year, as I am reminded, it is very important to be able to breathe. Now we have to make our sandwich, which erroneously is called a sandwich after the Earl of Sandwich, I understand. It should be called a Hillel, because it was Hillel's custom to take the matzah and the maror and the choroset, two pieces of matzah, and make a sandwich. So take a moment if you have everything you need and we are going to make for ourselves a Hillel sandwich. And there are as many recipes for Kharoset as there are Jews in the world so there's no one right way of doing it and ideal family situations you have at least two different recipes on the table. I'm going to eat this. Now, let your imaginations go wild. At this point, you are going to <coughs> see it's, it's really strong stuff. At this point, we would have the meal. Well, the second piece was stronger than the first. So I'm trying to put some real human uh, connection into all of this and make us all realize how important all this is. At this point, we would have the meal. The uh, important things that people live for, matzo ball soup. There are recipes that go back to ancient Egypt. I'm only kidding. There isn't an ounce of truth to that. And we will finish the meal in our minds. I'm not going to be able to serve you dinner this year. Hopefully next year we will all be able to get together in one place and eat together. But we're going to imagine we ate and we just finished eating and we are going to turn to the third cup of wine. Uh, unfortunately, we have to sort of skip over a lot but I have decided we're going to do a few things that occur after the meal that you are all familiar with, I'm sure, including some singing. And not much singing, to be sure, I know, but we're going to do a little bit. So your third cup of wine, we have just finished eating. We have just thanked God for the wonderful food which we ate. And we are going to say, Baruch Atadunai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Borei Pri We would then go to the door of our house, open it up, and welcome Elijah. Before we sing Eliyahu Hanavi, let me try to take some humor that's floating around and treat it very seriously. First piece of humor that I heard, how on earth is Elijah going to be able to visit our homes this year? He will have to come via Zoom. Second piece of humor was something like this. Will Elijah have to have his uh, face covered? Will he have to wear protective masks and gloves and everything else? Now the real answer, and I thought this went out beyond the humor of all of that. Or would we even welcome him because how do we know if he is carrier? of this horrible disease. Elijah doesn't bring diseases. Elijah only brings good things. So if Elijah knocks on your door, 
welcome him in. But if somebody knocks on your door and says he's Elijah, be suspicious. We are going to open the door for Elijah, and we are going to sing Eliyahu Hanavi. Once the meal is over, there is still a lot we could say if this were a more traditional Seder. One of the things would be the reading of the chanting of the Hallel Psalms, the words of praise to God. O oh, give thanks unto the Eternal One, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. How can we recite the Hallel at a time like this? Before we sing one of the Hallel Psalms, I want to read to you a paragraph that was written for this occasion this year, a prayer before the recitation, recitation of the Hallel. Our Father who is in heaven, who settles the solitary into a home, it is revealed and known before you that it is our desire to extol you publicly and to sing about your wonders before the congregation of the nation. This year, however, our hallel is subdued, our praise is measured, and we sing as solo performers. Here we sit, each in his own house, so that in future years we have the merit to beautify your name in public, and we will raise our united voices in song and praise to the God of thanksgiving, return, O God, the multitudes and thousands of Israel. We continue with the singing of Hodu Ladunai Kito. Oh, 
Be prepared for the fourth cup of wine, but before we do, let me share some thoughts with you. We are saddened that we are unable to be together and to have our congregational Seder this year. We are saddened also that our woman Seder, the first one which we were going to have, had to be canceled. On our Seder plate here this evening, we have a very special Miriam's Cup. We got it at the Temple Beth Israel gift shop. And may this be an ad for the gift shop. There are all kinds of beautiful Passover things there. Be ready in advance for next year when we can all celebrate together. But our celebration is somewhat dulled this year by the fact that we have lost two of our members within the past week to this horrendous virus. May God give all of us the strength to live through the days ahead, not to give up. If Jews could get together and somehow or another put together a Seder, even in the worst years of our history, what is our excuse if we don't? even if we have to use this virtual Seder in order to do it. I want to express thanks to a few people and then do permit me some humor. First, and without doubt, I have to thank Corn, whose technical abilities made all of this possible. We are still learning. We don't have a sophisticated studio or the equipment that maybe we would like to have. But without her help, this would not be possible. We want to thank Kai, and we want to thank Anne. We want to thank everyone at the temple. Isaac was there when we needed technical assistance. Shauna was there. Jen has been answering the phone remotely. The, phones have been, the phone calls are being sent to her, and she is sending me messages. Our son Spencer has managed a lot of the technical things behind the scenes. You can't see him. I have to give a special word, words of thanks to two very, very special people, our dog Clarence and our cat Amelia, who uh, did not disrupt us at any time. Now. you taking their, you're showing their pictures. Okay, yes. now, now, uh, the, this is humor. As I am sitting at this dining room table, I can see across our living room and outside to the street. The timing wasn't perfect. He was a few minutes late. But when I was reading the part about Elijah visiting, I never thought, that what, two, three, four minutes later, a big brown truck, UPS, pulled up in front of our house delivering something. Now, so many of us today depend on deliveries. And may that remind us of the Elijahs that we need in our life to bring us those things that we need when we are trying to protect ourselves by not going outside. I would like to say that we're going to sing in a couple of moments Adir Hu, and then there will be one other option, which if you want to turn off your devices, you don't have to listen to. So first, let's do Adir Hu. Oh, 
let us all join in the fourth cup of wine, Baruch Atarunai, Eloheinu Melech Aulam, Borei Pri Hagafen. In conclusion, thank all of you for tuning in. Another piece of humor that is floating around that if we have services online or recorded, is it legitimate to fast forward through the sermon? For those of you who do not want to listen to what comes next, feel free to tune yourselves out. For those of you who decide you want to listen, be grateful that we have such wonderful singers in our choir. It has been my personal tradition to sing Chad Gad Yah. I was a little bit awkward about doing it because my singing voice leaves a little bit to be desired, but I'm going to do the first couple of sections and then the very, very last one. Chad Gad Yah. I'll read the last section. And the Holy One, blessed be he, came and slaughtered the angel of death who slaughtered the butcher, who butchered the ox, who drank up the water, that put up the fire, that burned the stick, that beat the dog, that bit the calf, that ate the kid, that daddy bought for Tuzuzim, the one kid, the one kid. Throughout the ages, different empires have come and have gone, yet we have survived. As we have survived so much, we will survive this virus, and may God give us the strength to persist, and be together again next year where we're supposed to be. Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah, De Hizab ben Abba Bitra Hezuze, Chad Gad Yah, Chad Gad Yah, De Heata Shun Rabba Acha, the Gad Yah, De Zab ben Abba Bitra Hezuze, Chad Gad Yah, God, God, yeah. And the very last section, the Ata Hakadosh Baruchu, the Shachat the Malachamave, the Shachat the Shoche, the Shachat the Torah, the Shata the Maya, the Hakan and Nora, the Saraf Rahutra, the Hikan Kalba, the Nashach the Shonra, the Akla and the Gadia, the Zab ben Abba betray Suze, God, God, yeah, ha, 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 God, God, yeah. Despite all the sadness that has befallen our community, despite the fact that we have had to isolate and quarantine ourselves, still the obligation to say, Good Yantav Chag Sameach. Thank you.